Hey guys, welcome back to our next episode of Cut This, Polish That. I'm Brian. And I'm Rocky. Today's challenge, we're gonna do a leathered shower pan on the Titan CNC router. Welcome back everybody. We all know the Titan is capable of producing high quality edges at amazing speeds. Today, we're gonna to do something a little bit different for you. Brian, what do you got in store for us? All right, today, Rocky, we got a nice piece of natural granite up here. So we're gonna actually make a shower base out of this. So we're gonna start by milling in the drain hole, and then we're gonna come back and then slope everything down to the drain and finish it off with a little mini leather head to give it a nice finish on it. Brian, besides shower pans, could this be used for maybe integrated sink as well? Yep, exactly. It's the same concept. Um, so you're just building whatever size sink shape you want and then the same application applies. Awesome. So this would be a great opportunity for someone that has a Titan to learn this process and maybe differentiate themselves from their competition with another product offering and really elevating themselves in their market. All right, so before we go any further, let's go take a look at the program. Excellent. All right, so I'm gonna open up my finished project and I'll kind of walk you through what I've done. So with my shower base, um, then I had located the drain right there. So the first thing I did was drill the hole all the way through with a core bit. And then I came back with the finger bit to drill out where the drain opening is going. And then the second pass of the, the mill bit or the finger bit is creating the flange for the drain. Um, then I came in around and we came around the outside edge of the piece just to true it up and get it down to size or so finished final size piece. The next thing I did was come in with um, the shower base button. So that's located on the machine tab. And right here is the shower base button. This will walk through all of your levels um, and you can set this up for different applications. Uh, this is what I did for this example. And I ended up doing three separate passes to get down to the final depth I was looking for. Um, if we look at a front view of this, and I tip it this way, you can kind of see the different Z levels of each of those. So after I had this all machined out, then I started coming in with our mini leather head. So basically just repeated the operation. I did make a few changes for the step over, just so we weren't going along the same path and you weren't gonna see a pattern in the finished product. But this is essentially what we did. All right, so I just showed you a real brief idea of what I did for that shower pan button. If you want the more in-depth tutorial version, you can check out that video right here. And I'll set the final depth at the hole to 0.75 to get a total of a quarter inch drop. All right, Brian. We're back at the machine. We've done our programming. We got our material loaded. Where do we go from here? All right, uh, so one thing to point out, Rocky, depending on the material, um, some of it has the fiberglass on the back edge or maybe it's not very smooth on the back. You may want to gauge that off if you're gonna be working on the top of the stone, which we are in this case. So we've done that already. Um, so the part right now is polished side up. Okay, great. Um, so next thing we're gonna do then is we're gonna scan in our program and get this thing going. And it's just as easy as that, huh? Just as easy. We're going to click OK. And there it is. Wow. Well, let's get to it. All right, here we see the start of the program. The first thing we're going to do with the Titan is we're going to bring in a core hole. We're going to punch through this piece of stone. And this is going to be our starting point for the rest of our tools in our program. So now that we have that hole punched, Titan's going to change tools. We're going to grab a finger bit and it's going to open that hole up. Uh, we'll get that drain started. So doing a shower pan like this on the Titan is somewhat of a lengthy process, but the beauty in it is that uh, it's unattended. It's something that you can set up. You could set a couple of these up on the Titan. You don't have to do just one alone like we're doing here today. Um, you set it up and basically let the machine do the work and walk away and uh, just let it make money for you. 
Here we see the Titan scribing all the edges. This is going to be from your, your template so that when you put your shower pan into your piece, it's going to fit absolutely perfect. Next, we'll see the Titan grab the milling wheel. It's going to drop into that hole that we created for it, and it's just going to continue. Uh, the program is going to continue to work around the piece from the shower drain hole to the outside edge, sloping that pan all the way around. And this program will just continue to loop through each step that we have. So with the milling wheel and then through the brushes as well. Just a repetitive program and the machine's gonna be going over and over the same path with the different tooling. As a bonus, when we're done here, maybe we'll get Brian to stand in the shower pan and shower for us. As soon as we're done with this milling wheel, we'll uh, take a look at this piece just to see where we're at in the process. And then next we're going to switch to the first brush. So now if we weren't going to leather the piece, go any further, this would be our finished product here. You can see in the reflection of the light the, the tooling pattern from the Titan. We're going to take it one step further and we're going to run leather brushing across this. And I think the finished product, once you leather it, is just beautiful. It's phenomenal. We're going to transfer to our Blick brushes. And you'll be able to just run your machine up, manually pop these in. Real simple process. And we're off and, uh, off and brushing. Here you can see the first brush going around and this is basically the same program that we're running with our milling wheel just repeating it again with the brush. And you can actually see that uh, uh, z-axis going up and down and the brush following the contour of that pan uh, creating that contour brushed finish. So what we're doing here today is a unique application with the Titan. We've said that before. Where the Titan really shines is doing high-speed production on kitchen countertops, saving you time, saving you money, saving you labor day in and day out. This is simply just to show you another option, uh, something you can do with your Titan to maybe use up some remnant pieces or create another, another offering for a customer. All right, for our next brush, we're actually going to do a little bit different view here. We're going to have a camera view right from the head of the spindle, following the contour of the pan with that brush. Now, depending upon the texture or the finish that you're looking for, you may want to add brushes or subtract brushes. Uh, really, it's, it's, it's up to you. That's the beauty of doing this on the Titan. Completely up to the user of how much, how far they want to go with it. Um, what kind of texture, completely customizable. We're going to let this uh, finish out, and then we're going to take a look at the finished product. All right, Brian, let's take a look at the finished product. Man. That looks really nice. Texture is great. Finish is awesome. The slope looks good. Awesome job. Yeah, it turned out really good. Um, so as you guys can see, the Titan is just a beast for doing custom work like this. If you guys want to do that extra functionality, you have it. Absolutely. And in today's labor market, when people are getting harder and harder to find, this just is another example of something you can use your Titan for above and beyond the high production capability it already has. Do something unique like this to add value to your customers. In fact, here's a couple testimonials from current Titan customers and what it's done for them. What I like most about the Titan, the machine takes place of four or five guys at a touch of a button. They're just workhorses. You know, they're easy to operate. They do what they're supposed to do. The product quality coming off is incredible. It's what's going to allow us to scale up. I love walking back there and it's just doing its thing. This machine will do what four guys will do in a day in a couple hours. We're just extremely happy with the way they run. I mean, scan the barcode and put it up there and push the button. These machines were by far the solution for us, and like I said, they're workhorses. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I wish we would have done it five years ago. 
Thanks for joining us today. If you'd like to learn more about the Titan and all of its great capabilities, including what we've shown you here today, we'd love to have you here for a live free demo. Please reach out to us anytime. Okay, Rocky, that concludes today's episode of Cut This, Polish That. Uh, don't forget to drop in the comments anything you guys would like to see in the future. Just let us know, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed our video today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for the latest, greatest Park Industries videos. Thank you. Have a great day.